Hey, young world. It's your girl, Chakara. Coming at you. With. talk about these books that I have so this will be what's called a book haul this is my first book haul I've been doing I've been watching a lot of booktube for those of you that don't know booktube is this little corner of the YouTube world where folks talk about books and so I noticed that there wasn't a whole lot of poetry happening in that sphere so, me, being the poet, and I know it, <laughs> I'm going to bring you some of the poetry books that I have in front, inside of my house. So, this stack is just a skosh, just skosh, 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 skosh of the poetry books that I actually have. So, let's get started. First, we have The Greatest, a homage to Muhammad Ali, libretto and poem by Tara Betts. Muhammad Ali, greatest boxer of all time, a humanitarian, civil rights workers, had to tell some folks about themselves. Somebody else I know who loves, who needs to tell people about themselves when they need to is poet, an all-around great person, my friend, Tara Betts, decided to put that pen to that paper and pay homage to him. Pay homage to him. This um book of poetry is was um also put together on stage and as far as me reading I remember I read it before excuse me I read it before when I got it so I will probably need to do a review of this so this would be my TBR which means to be read list maybe give you all a review about it later but for now this is the Greatest Homile by Tarbis. And we can tell it's a small book. It's a press book. This has about, it's 17 pages. And I'm interested in looking at it again to see what my thoughts are. So, so if you like sports and poetry and sports, words go. This is it. All right. Next we have Five Fifths Growing Concerns Poetry Collective. This is this is a Series. This is a collection of poems by Michael Deville and Mackenzie Chen, as well as they have another guy in their group, and they performed around Chicago with their group. It's a mixture of hip hop, spoken word, and poetry. I met Michael when we were doing a after school program for these awesome, 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 awesome children, poets, and writers. I met him through that. I also met Mackenzie Chen through the women. I also met Mackenzie Chen at a poetry at a poetry event. She is super dope. She also another person that likes to tell people about themselves to their face through her words. She's just all around dope poet. So this is their poetry collection. I have read this before and what I remember is there is a section for her writing and then there's a section of his writing and then they do duets 
homes inside of here. So five fifths is a reference to. So here's something that's going on in the page. I know that five fifths is a reference to being a whole person. So we'll have to check this one out again. So group people, people I actually know first. So again, this is five fifths by the Growing Concerns Collective here in Chicago. Looking forward to going back into this and finding out some poems that you all would like. Okay. So I would like them. So let me just read. Moving on. We have Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. I have actually met Jacqueline Woodson. She was at the Poetry Foundation, which is a little problematic right now. But I met her at the Poetry Foundation, and this is a autobiography written in poetic form, and it journeys her, and it journeys her, and it journeys her young her life as a little girl as she's learning to love writing and her balance between living in the south with her grandparents and living in the north with her biological parents and also tracks her mother's moves in between the two and how she fits in with that and as you can see it won the national book award so i did read this as you can see as you all already saw i already had some notes in it I did enjoy this. I gave a copy of this to my little cousin a long time ago. So it was really fun meeting her. She asked him my questions. She came back and she just, it was just, just, I, this was a great read for me. I read the whole thing cover to cover. I really enjoyed this book. So moving on, next one. Next one we have In the Palm of Your Hand. This is a workshop book. So this book is filled with different prompts to inspire poetry. I was in a spoken word pedagogy class with the Peter Con. He has a new book out. He has a new poetry book out called Three Little Kings. I'm excited to hear about that. I'm excited that he's doing such great things that he'll be mentioned later on in this video. So In the Palm of Your Hand is a collection of different writing prompts. It also has the... And my mother's clothes prompts inside of here, which I completed and did a poem from. So I can use this, like when I'm stuck with what I need to be writing about. This has been in my basement for a long time. So this is my first time actually like pulling it out and see what's working with. So. <laughs> right here. This is me. This is my book. Poet. Author. Author. I authored a book. I authored a book. I just heard my mouth. I authored a book called Honey Licorice and it is a volume of poetry where the honey is for the sweet parts of life and the licorice is for the not so good part of life. So the honey poems are sweet, about love, romance, love, romance, yearning, and the licorice parts are about what was actually going on in the world. So you will definitely, definitely 
be hearing more about this book. So, um, all of these. So this is just parts of my poetry collection, and I will be giving you more of this fairly soon when we can come up with more. So please like, comment, and subscribe with what your, you can comment with what your favorite poem, you can comment with what your favorite poem is so far. You can comment with what's your favorite poems on. Again, thank you for watching Tell Black Girl. This has been booktube ish. Comments. Thank you. Anyways, thank you all for watching Pale Black Girl Lifestyles and Black Beauty, Black Books, and Black Making Matters. Thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment with what's your favorite poem is, and I look forward to seeing you. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this is like when you leave me. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.